Good morning everybody, how are we? Welcome back to another video. It is now week three of grease rehearsals so I thought I'd do a similar thing to what I did the other week and just take you through like a mini week in my life basically. Oh, we've come so far since last time so let me just fill you in. So last Saturday we were meant to do a stagger through of act one and it actually ended up being like kind of a run of act one. There was like one stop in the middle for a scene change that we just hadn't rehearsed enough but it was actually like good. We were so surprised because we hadn't really linked any of the bits that we'd done together yet so when we heard that we were doing a run of act one we were like what the hell <laughs> but it actually ended up kind of all fitting together and yeah everyone was really great so I'm really happy about that. My hair is slightly crazy today I went to Thought Park yesterday. I thought the new ride, um, Hyperia, would be open, but not yet. But we went anyway because basically Luke and I are getting no time together at the minute. He works an evening job and obviously I'm working in the day at the moment. So when I'm on a show schedule, great because we'll be off at the same time. But right now I come home from work, he's just gone and then I'm asleep and then I'm awake in the morning before he's awake. So yeah, we just thought... Let's have a day together and why not go to Thought Park? <laughs> anyway, my point being, we had a wonderful time but we got back quite late and I needed to wash my hair and so I went to bed with it wet, which is why this sometimes happens, like kind of like messy curl pattern vibes, like what even is that? But anyway, ready for another week, what's the time? Okay, it is eight o'clock, I'm just gonna grab some breakfast and then get out the door and I'll tell you what we're doing today. I forgot to tell you guys, we actually filmed for the one show the other day. It was a segment on Arlene Phillips, I think. It was very chaotic. They just sort of like came in and filmed us rehearsing. So yeah, I don't actually know what I'm gonna look like or if I'm even gonna be in it. But yeah, if that has gone live, I'll try and link the catch up below. It was so bizarre. It was just like, oh, okay. We're being filmed now. I mean, we were told like a day ahead that we're gonna be filmed and the one show were coming in, da da da. But like when it was actually happening, they were just like silent and like coming into the room with cameras. So we were like, try not to look at the camera. <laughs> but anyway, I hope it's a good segment. Yeah, I have no idea when that's gone on TV, so we shall see. I also had my costume fitting last week and I tried on lots and lots of different bits. Some stuff I had last year for my cover track because I had loads of like new nice bits for my cover and um, I just really liked them so I feel like I'm just going to keep those little bits our uh, head of wardrobe costume supervisor they're really really nice so they kind of let us have quite a big say in what we wear which is really nice sometimes you don't get that sometimes it's a little bit like well that's the costume so go ahead but yeah it's really nice at Greece they really want to make sure that you feel confident and comfortable in what you're wearing which is lovely the one thing that is changing about Frenchie from previous years is she's wearing a heel for like maybe a third of the show which isn't much but I just wanted to make her a little bit more girly in the sections where it's possible for me to wear a heel where I'm not like running around the stage or like dancing full out I am five foot two <laughs> so I need any help that I can get anyway today I believe we're just working through act two we have done a few numbers from act two but in terms of the linking and the scenes, that's sort of the stage that we're getting to now where we just need to put it all together. Um, so I think we're just gonna get as far as we can. This is the book that I'm reading at the moment, one of the girls, it's so good, I've almost finished it. It's been quite a long read for me, like it's taken maybe just over a week, but I've really, really enjoyed it. It's about a um, hen party where basically someone's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Classic thriller for me, but yeah, really enjoying that. Hi everyone, this is week three, day one. Oh, I'm looking here at um, Rydell. I've got my vanilla oat latte and a cinnamon swirl. A bit run down, but I'm okay. Everyone's being fab. I need to learn with some cover stuff. I've got to smash it. I've got to get some more digs booked. Um, but apart from that, I'm looking forward to it. I'll shout you out and see you later. I'll shout you out. See you later. <laughs> Hello, Vlogmas. Yeah. Vlogmas. <laughs> Ready for week three. Okay, we just did physical and vocal warm up, and now we're going into setting Greece. Sorry, I'm eating my croissant. We're setting Greece, which is the opening of Act Two. It's kind of late now. I got home like a few hours ago, and I was really bad today, and I just didn't finish 
vlogging anything because it got a bit crazy honestly we basically did Greece the opening of act two which is super cute and then that goes straight into high school hop which we've already done um and that was kind of just like linking it all together putting our lovely miss lynch in and then we also linked that into our hand drive so like that whole section of act two is an absolute beast the start of act two is probably the hardest part of the show and then that goes straight into hopelessly devoted sorry this lighting is awful i've just clocked that i'm really really sorry yeah hopelessly devoted which is kind of like a slow dance for us it's like the ladies choice last dance it's given like blue moon in the film if you've watched it blue moon where roger gets his bum out but we don't do that so yeah instead of blue moon we basically slow dance to the start of hopelessly devoted and then we run off for our quick change and we just like set that whole thing going on there's also a scene change that goes into the scene just before beauty school which is straight after Hopes is Devoted, so our lovely ensemble members have to do that and then do a really, really quick change, wig change, costume change, into Beauty School Dropout. I luckily am in the scene before, so I don't have to do the scene change, but that does mean that my change is very quick. I think it's going to be about a minute change, which is really quick, especially getting into a full suit for beauty school my suit is so freaking cute i can't wait to show you guys but it's basically like a pencil skirt and a blazer shoe change hair tie change scarf around the neck yeah that might be an issue when we get to tech but i'm sure we'll be able to work on it with the dresses and everything and it will be fine because it's been done many times before and then this evening we did that scene just before beauty school which is when frenchie has her big dreamy monologue which leads into beauty school dropout i can't wait for you guys to see beauty school dropout if you're coming to see the show i absolutely love that number it's so freaking cute in our show it's like frenchie imagines this like world where she would just have somebody to tell her what to do and the person she ends up sort of like summoning in her mind is this person who just tells her that she's awful at doing beauty so actually she should just stick with her A-levels or whatever it is. <laughs> and in our production, it's just so camp, it's all pink and yeah, it's brilliant. And Joe Gash, who is now playing Teen Angel and Vince Fontaine, is absolutely incredible to work with and I'm really, really having fun acting through that with him. But yeah, so today was like semi-chill. We did run hand drive a few times. We ran high school hop a few times. Tomorrow morning I have a physio appointment. Yeah, I have to go and do that at half past nine in the morning so that means a really early get up for me. But yeah, I'm very, very much looking forward to my physio. Uh, like I said in the previous vlog, my knee is okay. It's like causing me some discomfort but like not crazy but I just want to keep on top of it and keep maintaining it and they've been so good to get me a physio session this early on but yeah it's nothing to worry about at all it's just more me being sensible and maintaining myself because I know that I need physio on that knee if I'm going to do this show because it's demanding I don't know whether I told you in my last video no I wouldn't have actually I have officially been put back in charge of social media for Greece so we are starting the first briefs for that tomorrow it is World Theatre Day on Wednesday, so we need to do a little video for that. And um, what else have I got on my list? You know, hi, my name's Katrina, and my name's Anna, and I'm Joe to you. That video, we're just doing a little like skit of that, just as a little fun social media kickoff. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm doing that with the Pink Ladies tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning for my very early physio appointment. Good morning, everyone. It's now Tuesday. It's 8 a.m. I need to leave in about 10 minutes for my physio. Uh, so it's turned out that I don't actually have to leave that early. I've just been organising that social media call for today, which is with the Pink Ladies, and also a video for the World Theatre today. I've also just found um a trend of you know there's like the sort of like npc like fighters thing it's like dun, 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 and they like punch each other and it's really funny i think i'm gonna get arkaniki and sunny to do that as like maybe like fighting to be danny's west um west end man not that right hand man <laughs> i don't know where that came from <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I think that would be really cool. Right, I don't really know what to expect from physio today. It's always a nightmare, like, starting off with a new physio because you have to sort of allow them to re-diagnose you, if that makes sense. Um, especially when you've not had, like, a doctor-written diagnosis about your body. You have to spend, like, five, ten minutes telling them all the backstory about the injury. And because mine happened, like, all the way back in last year and so much happened with it, there's quite a lot to tell, so I'm hoping that I can reel that off as quick as I can to get as much time of, like, a treatment as possible. But yeah, we are filming some social media today, which is why I have a little wing on. <laughs> Classic. Look what I've got! The Blank Streak Pistachio Ice Latte with oat milk injected into my veins. Oh my god. It is so good. And it makes me think of summer because I used to get one every single day when I was in Greece in town oh it's so good so lovely and small in here i think Jaden's in that one i just came out of the physio um it's actually good news which is great basically i've managed to completely recover from my week acl um that i had last summer um because obviously although i've done jobs i had sort of six months of semi-rest I guess and I've been working a lot on my strength and stuff so yeah that seems to have resolved itself the only thing that I still have now which is causing me the pain is issues with my patella tracking which is like the kneecap and like the way that it sort of like floats around <laughs> basically I have really strong quad muscles and so sometimes it can pull it in different directions and basically that's not meant to happen <laughs> I've been massaged I've been taped and I need to order something called a thigh support, which will basically deactivate some of the overworking that my quad is doing. Um, so yeah, all good news. Very happy now on my way back to rehearsals. And we're back. I think we are going into uh, Jan's basement scene, which is one of our final scenes in Act 2, actually, before we get to you're the one that I want and the mega mix and all that. So that is good. And then we'll be almost all the way through the show. Hello, we just got back from lunch. Today has actually been really, really chilled for me. When I got back from physio, I wasn't actually needed for like two whole hours because they were doing stuff that I wasn't in. And then um, we just finished doing the basement scene. It is quite long because it's got those magic changes in, which is sung by Doody. <laughs> Good morning everybody, how are we doing? Um, today is officially World Theatre Day while I'm filming this and so I've got a social media post that I've sent off to be posted today and it was really cute, we all just got together on the stairs. <laughs> so yeah, I got everyone to film that yesterday, that's really cute. Also filmed the pink lady one, and today we're going to try and film the... I don't even know what this one is called. <laughs> Do you know what guys, nothing can beat this lipstick for my complexion and a natural lip. I've tried nudes, I've tried browns, I've tried liners and everything. This, from... Is it from L'Oreal? I buy it every single time. I've bought about five of these. I've got three of them. It's called Watermelon Dream and it's in these like clear ones and it's like a lip gloss but in a stick and it's just like so hydrating and the perfect like it's not doing it justice on here to be honest. It's yeah, it's more like this colour, like a almost like a pinky red, but because it's not a lipstick. It's not too intense, if that makes sense. I was trying to go a little bit away from it to try and do a more, like, natural colour, but I just feel like that is so pretty. Do you know what I mean? So, yesterday we finished the basement scene, and basically all we've got left of the show is the end section. So, it's you're the one that I want, we go together, and the mega mix with a tiny, tiny little scene in between. But yeah, I think today is going to be our final day of like learning any 
new material. Okay, so I've told George and Sario to meet me just before our call time today to film this video. I'm just trying to find a cool backdrop. I really like this red brick. I think that could be cool. It's just not like wide enough to make it the whole shot. Do you know? I mean, maybe it would actually. Maybe that would be cool. That looks good. Or there's those like funky doors over there. I don't know whether you can see. I'm going to film a little behind the scenes on this one for you so you can see what we get up to because I think it's going to be quite funny. Are you going forward or back first? I think I go back. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
either a light pink or a nude, like a, a colour that I could wear for the show. The thing that I could get was like a compression bandage, um, which you basically just wrap around and it works the same. The only thing is, the way that the, the one that I've got attaches, like when, once you've wrapped it around, the way that you finish it off is putting these like metal hooks through and they were like really hurting my skin. Um, like if I like touched it or like, you know, pressed it into my leg because they were like spikes. I don't know whether that's what's supposed to happen or I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I can actually push the spikes a bit closer in so that they glide across my leg maybe. I don't know, but anyway, I'm not wearing it today because this morning has been stressful enough without trying to strap my leg into that. But I'll be okay today anyway. Right, I really need to get out of the house. I've just remembered I don't have to be in until 11. Oh my God, I literally said that to the camera last night that I didn't need to be there till 11 and still set my alarm for 7.30. Okay, okay, I really could have done with that extra hour in bed, which is why I'm being so frantic. Could have washed my hair. Oh, Alicia. Okay, well, I've probably got about an hour till I need to leave now. Maybe I'll just go and like, sit on a bench and read my book or something. Enjoy the sunshine, the sun's out. Oh, I really hate myself sometimes. <laughs> Oh god. Happy Thursday. Me thinking I was going to have a wholesome morning in the sun. <laughs> uh, I did step it down. It is half past nine. It's half past nine and I'm here earlier than ever before for some reason. I think it was the whole toothpaste in the eye, running out the house and yeah, here I am. Until 11 o'clock when we start. Anyway, like I said, today we're doing a stagger through of Act 2, so I probably need a little bit of time to just remember everything that we did and go over my lines, because there's one scene in Act 2 which is so frustrating to me because I say the same sort of sentence, but like differently multiple times. It's when Judy is asking Frenchie to go for a burger with him, <laughs> which is so cute. but. Basically, but basically in her head, she's just quit beauty school. She's got a lot going on in her mind. She's like, Judy, I don't want to go for a bloody burger right now. <laughs> so she's like, maybe later. And then she's like, oh no, I got to take off. And then she's like, okay, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Like, it's very like bitty, bitty lines and they're all quite similar. So um, yeah, that's quite confusing to me. So I'm going to go over that now. I also have like a few pages in my book to read. So I could definitely do that as well. And I got a pan of raisin from Pratt, so yeah. We're just gonna chill. Luckily the rain stopped uh, so I can just sit here and enjoy, I wouldn't say sunshine, I would just say medium British weather. Hello everyone, we've just finished rehearsals for today. Today was so full out. Act two actually went okay. Feels like we spent a little bit more time on act two because it's got those long dance numbers in. Um, so yeah, that was fine. I am kind of dreading a full run tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. I hope it will go okay. I think I know everything now, so we shall see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this mini week in my life, and I'll see you next week for my long-term touring essentials, like Amazon bits, everything that I need to pack in my suitcase every single time I go on tour. Lots of love.